many women out there deal with acne on the lower half of your face that usually seems to freak out around your period, which leaves you feeling hopeless, frustrated, and wanting to curl up on your couch, eating Halo Top, watching reruns of Top Chef until that big red monster on your face goes away? Just me? something very specific to women which is our birth control and how it can affect our acne. I was looking through the Journal of Drugs and Dermatology because that's what I do for fun and I found a really cool study that was published in June 2016 entitled Hormonal Contraceptives, a Retrospective Analysis of 2147 Patients. <sighs> God that was a mouthful. Essentially, this study looked at women, what type of birth control they were on, if they were on any, and how that affected their acne. Now before I dive into the results, I want to talk about the different categories of hormonal hormonal contraceptives. There are of course some forms of contraceptives that don't include any hormones and we'll get to that later. But first, hormonal contraceptives can be kind of broken up into two different categories. We have combination, which includes both estrogen and progesterone. Typically you're going to find this in pills, patches, and rings. But then we also have just progesterone only birth control and typically that's found in implants, shots, and some, some pills. Now going back to the study, of the women that were on hormonal contraceptives, and this was the results that I found very interesting, women who were on combination therapy acne typically pills, patches, and rings, found a decrease in their acne after they started using it. On the other end of the spectrum, women who started progesterone only contraceptives, implants, shots, and some pills actually saw an increase in their acne. So I like that I saw this study because I feel like it gives me a lot of insight into my own skin and to my client's skin who are feeling like no products are working, nothing's helping their acne. Now I want to talk about a limitation of this study. It doesn't include copper IUDs, copper IUDs which is non-hormonal contraceptives. But they did cite a study that found that women who went on progesterone only implants saw an increase in their acne versus women who on, on copper IUDs didn't see a change in their acne at all. So it didn't necessarily make it better, but it also didn't make it worse. And I think that's a very important topic of consideration when we're talking about hormones, birth control, and our skincare. For example, I went to get an implant. I ended up with a progesterone only implant, IUD, because that was just what I felt like was gonna be best for my lifestyle. I'm really bad at taking the pill, I'll just be honest. I wish that she would have mentioned the copper IUD option and she didn't because I specifically went to her and said I'm worried about getting off my combination pills of estrogen and progesterone because I've heard the IUD can make your acne worse. She essentially said these are your two options, you either stay on the pill and you can have great skin or you go on the IUD and you run the risk of making it worse. End of discussion. Copper IUD and my skincare was never discussed. And I would have liked to have had a little bit more knowledge on my options, especially now reading this research, I'm like, hello, and I'm not gonna get it taken out and put a new one in, because I'll tell you right now, it's not fun. So it is what it is, I'll just use my retinol. And all of this together is one large takeaway that I really wanna to touch on, which is I believe that our dermatologists and our gynecologists need to come together to really come up with a game plan for women who are dealing with hormonal acne. If you've had any experiences with hormonal contraceptives or hormones and your acne, please comment below if you feel comfortable sharing. As always, thank you for tuning in to Skin Health by Lindsay, where I am always going to provide scientific evidence to help your skin health and improve your skin.